Now to the Southern Poverty Law Center, a left-wing attack group masquerading as a civil rights organization. They professionally slur mainstream conservatives and Christians, calling them all kinds of names. So you won't be surprised to learn, and by the way, names that are taken up by the rest of the press and reported as fact, you won't be surprised to learn that a Florida-based Christian missionary group named D. James Kennedy Ministries made their list of hate groups. Unlike so many that have been tarred this way, they are fighting back. They've sued the SPLC for defamation. Dr. Frank Wright is the president of the D. James Kennedy Ministries, and he joins us tonight. Doctor, thanks a lot for coming on tonight. Um, so thanks, thanks for having me on, Tucker. They've lumped you in uh, to a category as a hate group. Um, what effect has this had on your ministry? Well, first of all, it's, it's not a lot of fun to have your name listed right alongside uh, neo-Nazis and no. the Ku Klux Klan and skinheads. The, the effect is hard to measure. It, it, it lowers the confidence that donors have to support nonprofit organizations That's like right. ours. When they label us a hate group, uh, we've even had some of our longtime donors call and say, what's wrong with you guys? What happened to you? We've had to explain that it's really just a label. It's a label that they use to try to silence your viewpoint. It's nothing more than the old-fashioned ad hominem attack that you learn in debate uh, tactics that if you don't want to deal with ideas, you shut them up by calling them names. And because of what you said a minute ago, it's worked simply because the media, the mainstream media in the, in the main has not called them out on their own capricious and, and fallacious definition of what really constitutes hate. Without even explaining it. By the way, it's a, it's a pretty handy test for those at home. If you're trying to determine whether the media outlet you're reading or watching is legitimate, if they repeat propaganda from the Southern Poverty Law Center, they are by definition giving you propaganda. They're illegitimate. So did they call you ahead of time? How does the process work? Do you just wake up one morning and find out you're part of a hate group, or is there some warning? That's exactly right. They never interviewed us. They never questioned whatever positions that we took that they, uh, that they considered to be hateful. Uh, just placed us on their list and when all the uh, violence took place in Charlottesville in recent recent times all of a sudden all the, the same news media we're talking here decided it was right. time to publish the list of all the hate groups everywhere and wouldn't you know it we're number one in Florida according to them and so you know Tucker enough is enough and when people are spreading lies that are ultimately damaging when you're being categorized as a hate group simply because of your subscription to the historic Christian faith, enough is enough. So we decided to file suit. This is clearly David uh, and Goliath, and we're not confused about which one we are. They have $300 million in offshore bank accounts, and we have somewhat less than that in ours. But there's a rightness about this. There's an unfairness about this, and so that's why we filed suit to lump you in with Nazis. And you feel sorry for their donors. I think a lot of their donors think they're fighting back against the Nazis, and who wouldn't want to do that? And they don't understand just how deeply corrupt and dishonest and loathsome these people are. Good luck in your efforts to clear your name. Thanks, Dr. Wright. Thank you, Tucker. Thank you.